Welcome to Lounge TV. I'm Larry, and that there's Tom. Yep. Guys, we got our couch. It's a box couch. It's a bunch of boxes. Yeah. A lot of cardboard. So, I didn't know it would come in cardboard like this. I'm curious about it because that box is a little damaged over there. Oh, uh, yeah. And I didn't notice that when they delivered it because it was turned in such a way that you couldn't see it. Mm. And it kind of like, and then they all put all these boxes around it. So I'm very curious to see what that's like. But anyway, this is the chair. So first I'm going to open that up. Now I got to be real careful because as you can see, really echoes in here still, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, as you can see, it says, see that sign right there? Yeah. It says no utility knife. So I'm using this one. It doesn't have a point on it. And I'm going to just try to cut it really, really carefully. One thing you don't want to do is slice your your couch or your chair. Nope. Or your cushions. It would be bad. No, that would be very, 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 very bad. So I'm just gonna go like this. So basically what I do is you know I cut these first because there's usually cardboard that's a flat right on these sides, mm -hmm. right? And then I'll pick this up. Kind of cut it like that. That makes so sense. That, that way I didn't slice anything on any oh, styrofoam. I was so hoping there wasn't any styrofoam in here. Mm. Styrofoam is always the worst. Well, it's not terrible. It's not a ton of it. Just a block. So it is. Yeah. But, you know, it's not that easy to throw this stuff away. I got to break it up. It doesn't fit in a bag properly. So, and then when you break it, you get little tiny styrofoam balls all over the place. Yep. Okay, so it looks like it's just wrapped in some material in here. I probably should have opened the bottom first and then put it down with all the flaps out and then pulled it out. But we'll see what we can do with this. Tom might just have to put down the camera and give me a hand. But anyway, here's a cushion. Nice. Just put that over here and it, you know it's funny because it's uh, made in Vietnam hmm. let's see try to make it as light as we can by getting that and this is the color of it oh uh, okay so you can see that it goes with the walls I think really well yeah put this over here too this chair will be coming out of here. Right. I'm just gonna throw them on the floor right now. So Tom's gonna have to put the camera down and we're both gonna have to, uh, it's not gonna be easy to pick this out of here. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to flip it on its side, open the bottom, the flaps on the bottom and everything. And then, uh, yeah, so I'll just go like this. I have to be careful, I don't like sliding cardboard on the, uh, on the wood floor put scratches in it but we have scratches in here already and I'm going to be touching them up but I didn't want to do it before I set up the sofa because some of these I might not have to do right right I think I mentioned that on the other video didn't I uh, I don't know okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this back up like this and I'm going to turn this box on its side like this and then and don't fall out this way. And I'm going to open this side, put all the flaps out like this, put it down, and then pick the box up over it. You follow me, Tom? I guess. Yeah, he don't. He looks all confused over there, guys. I really don't. You don't what? Look confused. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. No, well, that's just your natural look. Oi. What? There's a lot more tape, it seems like, on this side. Just give me a second, guys. I'm gonna. There we go. It does seem there like there's a lot more tape, probably because it's the bottom, right? Yep, probably. There we go. Oh, and of course, there's extra pieces of tape on this side. And a piece of cardboard. 
So this is what I was talking about. I was talking about. Oh, there's directions down there too. Oh. Directions on how to use a chair. Maybe it's we're putting the sofa together. No, it's just the chair. Let's see, well they put the sofa instructions in the chair box. That wouldn't make much sense. I don't know, Tom. Okay, so. This is uh, interesting here because it looks like it has foam over the swivel thing. And that's all supposed to come off the foam. I'm gonna have to put a little, little, because uh, this will definitely scratch the floor because it's metal. Like little furniture pads? I'm gonna have to put something underneath it. Well, furniture pads, you know what I mean. Because it looks like you just cut this right here. Paint, if you can. Well, maybe if you use the sharp side, huh? That might help. And take this off, but as you can see, these are, they might be plastic, but I'm gonna have to put little felt things on, on all of them. Because yeah. if I don't, it's definitely gonna scratch this floor. If I had a little square carpet, that would be nice too. Okay, so, what I'm gonna have to do now is go find something for them. And then we'll be back. What we did is, I had Tom give me a hand. I don't have any of the little felt things for the, for the thing, but we, we kind of turned the box this way to flip this flap underneath. And then I'm just gonna take it like this and kind of, maybe you can push that out with your foot, Tom, if it starts to go. And I'm gonna put this down like this. And now all I gotta do is try to lift this up. Probably be a lot easier for two people, but. Come on, come on. This is great for my shoulder. All right, there we go. And now I got a big giant, and there we go. There's the, there's the chair. Nice. And uh, throw that out there. I'm gonna have to close all these flaps in. Hopefully, this doesn't scrap. Yeah, see, they are little plastic things. So, realistically, it uh, it swivels. So that really is stationary. Right. It's the top part that moves around. I'm gonna just close this up, it's just so I can carry this box outside. So I'm here for now, and I don't, I'm not exactly sure. I think we're putting it over in this corner. I'm not real sure about that, but for right now. Oh, it seems to slide pretty easy. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the uh, cushion on it. I don't know what this, I, I guess this pillow's for a chair, but. Yeah, it swivels. Did you say something? I said it swivels. It's very comfortable. You want to sit on it? Sure. Here, I'll hold the camera for you. All right. Pretty comfortable, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a chair. And it is. And it goes, I think it goes really well with the color that we picked for the room and everything. I agree. I don't want to, this must be for the couch because I can't imagine what the heck is this big, uh, I mean, big, I almost said, Hey, I mean the uh, the instructions had that cushion with it, so yeah. But I mean, it's like it's for that chair. What is it? Yeah, but it's so Decor obnoxiously big. Decoration when nobody's sitting in it. Yeah, I guess. All right, so my next step is to clean some of this up and then start opening the couch. Now that has to be assembled because this, as you can see, like you can tell what it's showing you what it is on each box. Like this is the chase. Ah. They're the ends over here and here, and then that part is all this. Okay. So, let me go and uh, get rid of this box. All right. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. 
I opened the chair obviously for Tom to use. But anyway, I want to open this first because I want to see if this is damaged or not. It's a good idea. Yeah. Um, even though I don't know what I'm going to do other than, you know, contact them. Because uh, we waited two and a half months for this. Right. So I'm hoping that it's just the box that got damaged. I don't like seeing this, this red thing right here. Mm -hmm. But one thing we, we have, and that is we're documenting it on camera. Sure. And hopefully, like I said, that hopefully they're wrapped inside and nothing got damaged. More cardboard, yay. Everyone's favorite. Yep. This here got some instructions over here. This got tore up, obviously. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, so oh, man, these are heavier than I thought they would be. Because there should be two of these in here. Here's one. Look at shelves. Yeah. That's why I thought you mentioned something about shelves and I just didn't know what you meant. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, on each side, it'll get one of these. Okay, that would explain why it's so heavy then. Yeah, yeah, they're wood. So I'm gonna just put this one over here. And that's why you can, you can make this chase, you can put the chase on either side. Ah, uh, okay. So it's, it's, so it's not like a left or right hand chase because they're inner, interchangeable but once you make it, it oh by the way I guess you didn't see this either it's got charging ports uh, neat and then this should be the other one. Oh, there's the hardware I was a little worried I was like shouldn't there be hardware for this here she is Parts inside. Nice. And then, of course, get this out. It's surprising how heavy these are. Yeah. Like you wouldn't expect it. These are heavier than that chair was. Really? Yeah. Huh. Right, there we go. This feels heavier than that one. Hmm. Ports. Yep. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with them. No, I don't see any, any damage at all, so it was just the box. Good. Thank goodness. All right, so another box I can get rid of. All right. After I get all the little pieces out of here. Cardboard in the bottom. All right, now I can put this outside and get to the next piece. So reading the directions, which you should always do, um, there are screws I got to put in this, and because I thought they were awful low, didn't they look awful low? A little bit for the sides of a couch. I got to put these on the bottom. That would one, do of these, it. one of these sections, yeah. And there should be a plug in the bottom too. I saw a zipper on one of them when you were moving it. Okay, so we'll turn it like this. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so, uh, hmm. Where am I supposed to put these? Out? Yeah, so there's a plug in here. You know what, though? It's only going to be able to be plugged in on one side. The other side can't get plugged in. Unless you're on an extension cord. Right. Yeah, oh, you mean underneath it? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll try to figure out what we have to do there. But anyway, probably worth so, it running the extension cord, to be honest. What's that? Probably worth it running the extension cord, yeah, to be honest. I'm just thinking if we have enough plugs over here, because we have a plug, we have that light plugged in there and the speaker plugged in over there, so we only have those two. Mm. So I'm gonna have to get a, I'd have to get a, uh, a what you call it, a uh, power strip. Power strip, yeah. All right, so. Screw up rectangular leg L into arm. Huh. So we have to, these go right on the end. 
There's like no marks for them. See how it, it has one on each side here, right in the corners, like this. Here's the piece of wood, so I guess it goes like this. That makes sense. I might have to get my drill for this instead of this thing. Because if I'm going in the wood and there's no, no holes already, oh, besides that, oh yeah, this will work. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens, Thomas. Okay. Is it, like I said, this might not be strong enough, this, this little handheld. Well, got to get the big guy. I got to get the drill. All right. Well, I might as well take this out there. This is worthless. Might as well. well I might as well plug it in and charge it up. That too. And we're back. Oh, crap. What the heck? I mean, this, this, it could be this drill bit. Oh, wow. Okay, so this thing just doesn't want to go in any further. you gotta make it. Okay. Looks like it's in about the right spot, don't it? Mm -hmm. Close enough, I guess. Yeah. I wanna make sure it's, I might have to loosen this one up a little bit. I think I got it too tight. Let me find, find the screw first. Come on. Come on, there we go. There we go. I just want to be able to turn this just a little bit. No, I guess it is right. Dang it. I had it right. All right, there we go. Oh. Okay, I'll be right back after I answer this important message. So we have the one side done. Uh, that's gonna sit over here. And then this one's gonna sit over here. And the ports we found are in the front of the couch, which makes sense because you'd have to go behind a cushion if they were back there. Right, now bend the wire and just not be good. Yeah, it's just funny that they put left and right on these. So they put left, see I was thinking the opposite. I was thinking like you'd be behind a sofa where you're sitting down on the sofa. This would be the left side, this would be the right side. Mm -hmm. But they obviously did it so that you're facing the sofa. This is the left side, this is the right side. So now I gotta put, uh, do the same thing on this one and put these on. And after I get that done, we're ready to open the next box. Nice. I feel like we're running out of room here. We are. And here's the thing, it says front. So is, the, is this the front? <laughs> I guess this is the front, right? That would make sense to me. All right. So we're gonna try to do the same thing, open this this way, um, see what happens. I think my, my uh, witch card is getting me dull. There we go. Is it hot in here or is it me? I think it's a little chilly. It's very... It's just a little. You need some iron. Anyway, it's uh, very humid out today, guys. It's one of these weird days where we're getting... going to go up into, like, I think, uh, the 80s like 88 almost 90 degrees today and mm. then tomorrow's gonna be like 70 and then saturday's gonna be like 65. it's bizarre okay so now i'm gonna do the same thing on this side this should be the bottom of it because it says top this way right okay yeah and, uh, okay, so Tom, you're gonna have to put down the camera. We're gonna have to tilt this this way to get that flap under. Sounds good. 
All right, so we got it. I had to get Tom to give me a hand to get that one flap under there to make it easier on us. Yep. And uh, and now I can just. Oh. Hey, look. Guess that's an empty box. Empty box. <laughs> huh. Oh, that's because it's odd shaped. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? So, so that's a safe space. Yeah. Or fill space, rather. Yeah. All right, so. Got that like that. I can put these up like this, and Tom, you'll have to put down the camera again and help me put this down. Yep. Unless I can do it by myself. Let me see if I can. I don't want it to kind of fall. Actually, I think I can. I think I can go this way. You know. There you go. Okay. Um. And now you might have to give me a hand to lift the box up. We got this out of the box. It's not as big as what it looked like in the box. However, look at all the little styrofoam pieces that I was talking about. You get them everywhere. Yeah, exactly. You said you didn't want to happen. Yeah. So anyway, this I'll show you right here. There's a little storage in here for the chase. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, obviously here's here's the cushions. So I'm gonna take them out because that'll take a lot of the weight off of. Uh, yeah. No sense in uh Keeping them in there. Right. Oh, and there's a there's a thing of bob in there. Yeah. And here's the pillows that it comes with. So obviously that is for the chair, huh? Yep. And that's another cushion here. Oh look, that's sewn right in the bottom. You can't even take bob out of it. Yeah. Are those speakers? What are those things at the bottom? I like think they're just rings? Uh, no, I think they're yeah, kind of just like um, I think they're more like for air, like ventilation. Yeah, that makes sense. Would be cool for a speaker though, huh? But uh, it's not. I'll take all this stuff out now. That this will make it a lot lighter. Yeah. And then we have to uh, put the hardware on there. So all this hardware right here is for this. Not exactly sure where these go. I haven't seen. I haven't seen where they go. Oh, they go for the cushions on the back. Oh, See okay. It? On there. Gotcha. That's what it looks like. Anyway. So these these all just slide in. Like this will slide into them. Well, that's convenient at least. Yeah. So we're gonna turn this on its side. You can't turn it on this side because of the brackets. Yeah, I don't want the metal brackets on the, uh, let's see if I can get this thing up. Put my foot under it. There we go. And I'm just going to do it. Yeah. That way the metal brackets are, and it looks like, oh, look, they, they have lines for this. Yeah. There's a uh, little there's... round lines over this side. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty they easy. They sandlined it on this one. <laughs> yeah. They did, yeah. Right. Yeah. So it gave, gave me all the legs, gave me these. And I can uh, put these on, just like I did on the end, and yeah. then we'll be done this section. All right. And we'll turn the camera back on when I get done, because Tom's got to stand behind it and kind of give me something that I can push. That I do. Right now, guys, I am trying to get this thing. <sighs> oh, you got <laughs> Who makes things like this? No, oh, the Vietnamese. All right, so there we go. Got the plug out. I wanted to get that out before we put this thing together. It's too heavy, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this thing, when I was trying to untwist it, the plastic ends came off. It's like actual wire. Yeah. I'll put them right there. Put this like this. I think this is probably going to go back somewhere over here. All right. Somewhere's in there. We, I mean, I think it won't be that hard to slide around. But anyway, I'm going to put this over and then we can slide that. We can slide that into here, which I think I can do that by myself, Tom. Okay. Okay, I think. Wait, is the arm supposed to slide into that, or is the chase supposed to slide into the arm? Uh, I would think it's this because it'd be a lot heavier, to, harder to put the other one in, you know? Hmm. They don't quite line up. Okay. 
We gotta figure this out, guys. Because I feel like it's gotta be pushed down this way and go, oh. They kind of don't line up. All right, we'll be back. Well, that was easy. Yeah, turns out it takes two people. Because <laughs> what I did is I picked this up mm -hmm. so that this wasn't laying up against it, right? And then me and Tom, he, I, I kind of pushed this and we pushed it this way and pushed it down. Yeah. There we go, okay. All right, so we've got half a couch. Good night. We ain't done yet. Oh, I know, I know. Um, yeah, so I did get uh, some of the styrofoam up, but you know, that's how this stuff is. It, it's gonna be here probably till Christmas time. Yeah, it's like confetti. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I get what you're saying now. So, our next step is the big daddy part of it, right? Or do I put these brackets on there first? I feel like it looks like this, this must be where in the back of the, the brackets go, right? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like these just slide in. Not really. So it looks like, yeah. That makes sense. You didn't get like any extra screws or anything. And they go, looks like it goes this way. Yeah. That's it. All right. And I guess then you just slide the back of it on top of it? Yeah, but you know what? We're not going to do that until we uh, get it all together. Well, I guess that makes sense. Because it might be too hard to get this piece in. And this is going to be a little bit more difficult trying to get this piece into there, I think, right? Um, uh, probably. We'll see. We're going to find out. Now we got another box to open, Tom. Hooray. <sighs> all right, so I don't know how close this is going to the wall, but it's probably going to be like this. We're not really going to utilize probably that the shelves on this side very much. I mean, just maybe just for a little couple little things, mm -hmm. you know? Um, we'll see how far this comes out. Guys, this chair is not staying here. This chair is one over here where that chair is. Okay. So, um, or else we wouldn't be able to walk by. And if we have to, we'll put this up against the wall. Doesn't really matter. Right. Um, it's funny how big it looks because it did it in the store, but it's still smaller than the other one we had up against this. Yeah. And this won't go, we, this won't be up against it. I mean, we could still move this like another foot down here if we want to, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, Cause we want to have plenty of room over there for that desk. Yeah. When Tom's working every day, eight yeah. hours a day. It is where I work. Seven days a week. Huh? It is where I work. Yep. All right, let's open this box up. All right. What'd I do with it? Knife. You lost it. Did you hide it? No. You hit it. Why would you hide it? I'm gonna hide you. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Oh, did you hide it? It's like you lost it. All right, so. Because you're losing it. Where's the top of this at? Uh, that says the back, so we gotta kind of do it this way, I guess. Right, because that's the back, this is the front. Well, I think that, I think this is the back. Like, this face is the back. Oh, you think so? Yeah, because neither of the other sides would say front, so the front would be the so face that's trying to like down. This. I think so. All right. Well, if you're wrong, I'll punch it. What? That's rude. All right. So we'll just I'll just open it like this then. And we'll, we'll open it the same way we've been open because it seems like that's been working pretty good, you know. How are we gonna get the flap under it? Huh? How are we gonna get the flap under it? We're gonna have to flip it this I way. I mean, like the, the flap is wider than. Uh, maybe the box I'll, itself. I'll, I'll just cut it off then. I'll cut the flap off. Well, that would work. We're almost there, guys. After this, this is the last box. Yep. The empty box doesn't count. Anyway, we got this, in case you guys are wondering. I know we've said it a million times already, but we got it from Bob's Discount Furniture. Um, oh, you don't say. Yeah. But in case they... In case, some people don't watch the whole video, might only tune into this part of it right now. So we got this from Bob's. We had to wait 10 weeks in case uh, you didn't see that part either. Even though I think I've said that probably about a hundred times so far, right? You've said it a lot. Come on. They put a lot of tape on this. 
Oh well, yeah, they don't want the couch falling out and drains it. Again, guys, if you if you buy a couch like this, and you have, or anything that has material in it, be very careful when you're opening it. Yeah. Because you don't want to slice the material. It has a no box utility, cutter, yeah, no utility box knife cutter utility for knife. a reason. But we're using the, doesn't have a point on there, it's just sharp edge here, and I'm being very, very careful. And like I said, I pulled this out to actually cut this. Th I mean, I'm gonna tell you that the tape is pretty serious. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a pair of scissors. I'm gonna cut this flat. That sounds like a good idea. Yep, then we'll be back. All right, so we have that done. Now I'll just take this off. There's take that, the, there's the hardware banner. It looks like something's ready to fall out of here. That cushion there, pillow here, hardware here. Hardware and cushioning, cushion, and pillow. And another cushion. Oh no, that's part of it. Can't take that one off. <laughs> but anyway, right now I can take take that off. And another one of these. Some instructions. And looks like it's got a. No, no, no they come right off. Oh, that's good. Do they touch? No, this has to get. Definitely has to get what you call it, it, right? Legs, right? It's got to. I mean, you could check the hardware box. Yeah, it's got to. Because I think the think what if, if this gets legs? Oh yeah, here, one's here. It's got to be yeah, one's down there, one's down there, and one's over there. Okay. Would it be easy to like put them on now while that's, standing up? Tommy, you read my mind because that's what I was exactly what I was going to say. Because see these metal things right here. Yeah. I don't want them to go on the floor, and they're sitting um, low. That's the lowest point right now. So mm. we're going to put the legs on right the way it is right now. All right. All right. Let me open up stuff, and Tom's going to have to give me a hand. That I will. We got it out of the box. I know. Now I got to put these on, guys. And these, we decided to go just put it on upside down, so it'll be easier on me. Yep. And it's still not going to be that easy. There's a little. There's little spots in here where it shows you to put them. I feel like right here is a little rectangle. Yeah. And I think you just got to get it close to it. I don't think it has to be exact, exact, you know? Yeah, just kind of line them up and get so the wheels are going the same way. And each one of these is going to get four. So I got three more to put on here. So as soon as we get that done, we can flip it over and get to the next step. Yep. All right, guys. So we are now ready to put this into there. Why would you get on the same side? You got to be on the other side. Um, well, I have to get the scissors. There's a thread hanging out. Mm. That could be dangerous. Did you put the scissors away? They should be on the table still. Well, not dangerous, but you know, if you you know, sometimes when there's a loose thread, if you don't cut it, you can catch a hold of it, and then next thing you know, the seam's coming apart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Know what I'm saying? All right. So now what we have to do is we have to pick this up and slide it in those brackets, which I don't know how easy this is going to be. I don't either. But we're going to find out. So we're gonna try just doing it on the end here. Yeah. I'm not in. I'm in. I think I'm in. No, I'm not in. Yeah. So either. this whole thing has to be picked up. Seems like it. Oh lordy, lordy, lordy. That's not gonna be easy. You kind of go like from this side, pick them up because can't be on that side. You're also gonna be on this side. We need two people on this side. Huh? Never mind. What are you saying? I'm saying we both have to go at it from like, I lift this side, you lift that side. Yeah. Because we try to do it the other yeah. way, it's not going to work. And the only problem is, is it looks like it has to be, the problem is we have lined up, it just has to be pushed into it. Right. You know? Yeah. That's what's going to be hard. 
Right, because now we have somebody to push on this side. Right. Let's try it again. Let's see if we can. Because all we gotta do is get it started. Nope. Hmm. We got a dilemma here, guys. Just a bit. Not exactly sure how. I wonder if I put this up again. And these don't come up. I was going to pick that up, and I'm like, that's right, they don't come up. Right. But this does. Because, see, that is set out pretty far. True. And I don't know that that's going to make a difference. I'm not sure for this side either, but... I'm going to try see what I can do. Oh, we're almost there. Son of a mother. Dang, it was so close. So close. We need somebody on this end. Yeah. That's the problem. That's the problem. We got the problem. Because there's, there's nobody on this end. We, got, we only got two. We need three. And this is pretty heavy. However, if we put something underneath this to hold it up in the air... Well, that could work. And then we just put it down. Yeah, let me get something. We'll be back, guys. All right. We, we figured it out. Yeah. After a lot of yelling at each other and lining up. A little bit. We got it in there. Can't, can't come apart now, which I'm glad. They were, it's very tricky. So we found out that what you needed to do was put this into yeah, this. That one. In which case, we had to take the arm off because... That's too much weight to pick this up. So, right. and the directions actually say that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I, instructions. Yeah, might want to read them. Yeah, you might want to. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pick this up. I thought that this lifted up and oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah yeah. And then put this in on there. Remember we had to push it. Let me see it. It's gotta come towards me. Yep. And I'm lined up. Are you? Yep. That seems really easy. Well, it wasn't going the other way when we right, put so the arm in. There we go. That's that part. Now we can push it back this way. Right, most of the couch is done. It's a little heavier now. And there's wheels that are going this way that won't turn the other way, Tom. Right. So I'm going to have to kind of pick this end up to slide it over. Yeah. But we... All right, so it's just the uh, other yeah. arm and then the back of it, and that. Yeah, it's kind so of that, right? Go get your camera, and we'll see. I think I got to put these metal brackets in next. Think that's oh, right. the next step. And these. Oh uh, no, the, the last arm is the next step. What is? The the other arm. Really? Before this, does it matter? It really doesn't. I don't think this matters. All right, so let me just put these in. Because these go, these are pretty easy. And you can always pull these right out, you know? Sure. Um, and then the other arm. Yep. And then we got to get rid of these boxes too, so. Guys, I'll tell you what. I'm sweating up a storm. I'm going to see if I can do this by myself, Tom. Well, go for it. I think I can. Because I can get behind it where I couldn't on the other one, you know? Yeah. Of course, I can't see. Nope. <laughs> you sound like All right, Tom, put the camera down and help me. Will you do something? Don't be rude. It's easier with two people. Yeah. All right. My trouble is just lining, lining it up because I can't see, you know? Right. I think we got it. I think so. But Mine's caught. Is yours? Seems like it. It's just not going down further. All right, yeah. Oh, ah, there we go. Ah. Just, just, a, just a little bit of floor impact. Yeah. And now all, all we gotta do is the next step, I think, is just putting on the back cushions. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that is. And I do think this this will probably go back a little bit, this whole thing. Uh, yeah. I guess. Yeah, it's definitely gonna go back further. Yeah, so I think, so this, I believe, do I put on this first or the long one? Um, well, considering it doesn't say. <laughs> It doesn't say anywhere? I just looked and it had nothing for uh, putting the backs on, so. Right, so. Go ham, I suppose. 
yeah, this is easier said than done. Oh, it's not that hard. And it's oh. a little easier done than you thought it was said. There we go. Nothing like assembling a couch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then this is the next one. Yep. Which uh, is a little bit heavier. A little wide. What's nice about this couch, guys? Huh. Do a cup holders. I was wondering where that was. Yeah. And so we'll get the rest of the cushions on here. Which this should be over here. Yep. Oh. So you take these little these little things off. And then like velcro them on? Velcro is it on. Nice. Keeps them in place. Yeah. And we'll do this one. All right. And now, so this is the bed part of it, guys. So this somehow, oh, pull this out like this. And then you lift it. And then... Then you got to... You're not open? And you move the whole couch while you're doing it, obviously. Yeah. But anyway, this is supposed to come out... Oh, there we go. Comes out like that and like that. Well, there you go. We're, we're getting a rug from underneath this, guys. Probably a good idea. Yeah. Um, this definitely is going to go back. Probably like right there, probably going to be. And this, this, like I said, this is only for sleeping. It's not for, uh... Not for everyday use. Well, I mean, it will be everyday use. Yeah. And then you just push this in. Huh? What do you mean? Yeah, there we go. Straighten her out. Get rid of all this crap so we, it looks like we have a little room in the house. Yeah. Tom's got plenty of room back here. We put that chair over there. Yep. So this is so much more room than what we had. Oh, for sure. Now that shelf over there is not going to be utilized very well. But I mean, you can put some stuff there. Yeah. You know, like you know, your nunchucks, your, your gun, your your brass knuckles, your baseball bat. Yeah, you know, stuff stuff that you might need. I think a bat would fit in there. Yeah, a little short bat. Did you ever see them little bats like that for clubbing, clubbing sharks? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we got all this room here still, which I'm real happy about. I'm gonna have to try to get this thing exactly where I want it. But it's gonna move around a lot, just getting up and getting down until we get a rug underneath it. Damn, it which, are we gonna have to like disassemble this to get the rug under it? No. Are you kidding me? We're just gonna pick it up. The rug's not going all the way under the whole thing. It's just going to go, like, right here. Oh, okay. Don't be ridiculous. I was just wondering. I didn't all know right, what you were so, thinking. Alright, uh, so, Tom, you can clean all this mess up and, uh, hold it, wait a second, finish and touch. What do you think? Goes well with the room, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. So all I gotta do is clean this up, get that chair over there, put that chair over there, and uh, then I gotta put all this cardboard down in the basement until I get a dumpster. Well, at least this time you said it right. Well, what did I say last time? Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, did I say I? You did. I meant we. Um, yeah, I don't know what's gonna go over here on these shelves. I have no idea on this side. You know? But I mean, Non-breakable things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, because they'll be getting knocked all over all the time. So, I don't know. Books? I don't read no books. I mean, like, a water would fit right there. Yes, it would. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this. We'll take a, um, 
take a uh, thumbnail at the end after I get this room all cleaned up and everything for the video, right? Right? Yeah. yeah so if after Tom cleans this all up, I think I said I again, and I meant we, mostly Tom. Um, Why am I gonna clean up your mess? Yeah, I don't know. This might this might need to go a little bit further forward. I think. What do you think? I have no I idea. Think, like, <laughs> I think like there might be better. Yeah, I like this because I mean before it was like the other couch was all the way out to here. Yeah. And it was all the way up to that thing, like I said, and now we got a lot more room here. Yeah, now I can actually sit at the desk and people yeah. can still get by me. Now guys, this couch would have looked really well over there, right? Like that and there, but then we would have had to put the, the TV over here in front of the window and we didn't want that. Mm -hmm. So we were kind of stuck. This room is weird how you got to put things in it because there's there's too many openings so that you can't block yeah you know so i know originally it was always when we when we um first got in this house and everything my aunt and uncle owned this before us and uh when we got in there our, our sofa was over here right it was there and the tv was here in front of the window actually the tv was right here because we only uh. had we only ever had a small tv you know, it was on a, on a little stand. Right, I'm just saying, like, when I was little, the TV was right here. No, the TV was right here, Tom, because that's where your Flintstone vitamins were behind it, right there. Right, but the outlet's right here, and it was in front of the outlet. It was not in front of the outlet, it was over here. I'm pretty sure it's in front of the outlet. I'm the pretty sure you're wrong, because when I was walking out the door, and I looked right down here on the floor, I saw your Flintstone red okay, chewable well, okay, well, we'll that meet, you didn't eat. We'll meet in the like middle. Was middle of, kid. We'll meet in the middle. It was in front of this window, the and, left one. How about that? Maybe part of it was sticking over there. Definitely well, guys, I hope you appreciated this video. Like I said, this is our new uh, couch. Got it from Bob's Discount Furniture. Um, it's quite an... Uh, it is pretty comfy. Yeah, it's very comfortable. Um, I don't know how it's going to be sleeping on it, but I'll let you guys know. Um, especially when you see me start in videos like this. Because yeah. my back's aching. Um, but... It's smaller, and that's what we needed for this room, a smaller sofa. I also have a painting that I'm going to be putting up over there, too. Yeah, because um, the wall's a little... Yeah. Well, I took the picture down from there and put it over here because it goes better with the desk. Yeah. Uh, so, like I said, I'll be putting that up, um, and then, then this room will be completely done when I move the chair and clean it up. Till next time, grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet up, relax, but not on my new sofa. I'll meet you at the lounge. Just to let you know, Joe's banned from sitting on the couch. Okay. <laughs>